we're approaching Alpha Ventus, 60 kilometers from the mainland. No other wind park worldwide has been built so far out to sea. It cost 250 million euros to build. The helicopter lands on a research platform built here years ago, long before the wind turbines were installed. Helicopters bring scientists out here several times a week. One of them is Felix Yachmann. Participating energy companies have hired scientists to assess the project's environmental impact. Instruments on the platform collect data, which will be used when building the next 80 wind farms in the North Sea. Sensors measure wind speeds at the top of the 100-meter tower. And an underwater camera can be lowered into the ocean through this pipe. Yachman is here to observe seabirds and marine mammals. You always see gray seals swimming around the platforms and occasionally a common seal. Yesterday, two porpoises chased each other around the platform. There was probably a school of fish there because there were also gulls and gannets. Marine mammals are a common sight here. Another helicopter arrives to collect technicians from one of the wind turbines. They came here following an error report that arrived on land. Getting in and out of a chopper 130 meters above the sea is not for the faint-hearted. The wind park is monitored by cameras back on the mainland. Quick action is required in an emergency. But it takes up to 30 minutes for a helicopter to fly technicians or rescue workers to the wind park. A helicopter can't land on the wind energy facilities. That means personnel can't just step off. If an employee is not physically fit, then he's just not allowed to go out. He needs his medical certificate that confirms he can do the work. Construction work began here three years ago. Now the test phase of the offshore wind farm is over. The plant is officially going online. Irina Luca heads the Alpha Ventus project. She's satisfied with the way things have come along. In the past years, the engineers have gained a lot of experience that will be useful for future projects. And they've made sure the turbines can weather the heaviest of storms. In 2007, we had a wave that was at least eight meters high come through here. It caused damage, but it didn't affect the stability of the structures. They are built to survive the storm of a century. Time to return to dry land. The helicopter flies past 12 wind turbines that will now provide enough electricity for around 50,000 households. <laughs> 